clever boy. Greetings, fellow sharpshooters. Welcome to Epically Geeky Makers. I'm your host, Eugene Stevens. A little while ago, my uh, twin five-year-old boys started getting uh, Nerf guns. I mean, it's going to happen. People are going to get them gifts for whatever reason. And uh, they got some of these. Uh, pretty cool. It's actually got two different barrels that spin around here, so it's can hold lots of bullets in it, which is nice for, you know, you get to a firefight. Uh, the way that it cocks, pull it all the way back like this. Not bad for an adult. Actually, it's not pretty bad. But uh, my youngest was actually kind of having difficulty with this. Uh, and of course, my boy's got guns, so daddy's got to go get a Nerf gun too. And I ended up picking up one of these. It's a Nerf Hammer Shot, the uh, Zombie Strike version. Uh, the way that it cocks is you basically just pull the hammer back here, and you'll notice it rotates the barrel. Um, this, I really like this gun. This is actually a really awesome, really well balanced. It, it feels good. It's It looks cool. Uh, but yeah, so... Uh, my youngest actually was able to, to do this a lot easier, so he kind of, you know, took it over. Uh, and as we were playing, uh, you know, I'm trying to teach him, you know, proper etiquette, so on and so forth. Uh, but, you know, he kept either aiming really high up because I'm teaching him, you know, to look down down here to aim. And, you know, he's either aiming up or he's, or he's aiming down. And I thought, is there a way that maybe I can make this... Uh, easier for him to, to understand how to tell how to aim. And I thought, oh, awesome, I'll, I'll see if I can find a scope. So that's what I did. Went to Thingiverse, and I found a scope. This is the one that I found. It's by Synergist. It's the Nerf Tactical Rail Sight. As you can see, it is the exact same make and model as the hammer shot that I have uh, in my hand. So I feel like, okay, cool, this will work. The problem is, is it doesn't. Uh, I printed it out, uh, you know, printed it to spec, the right size and everything. And uh, once I got it printed, it does slide onto the rail like it's supposed to, but then it slides right back off again. Um, if you look here, there's this little nub that's supposed to lock into this orange piece right here. It's supposed to lock it onto the rail. Uh, the problem is, is we've got this bar right here that's keeping it from moving any further, and it's nowhere near hitting the lock on. Uh, so, I mean, this wasn't going to do me any good. Anytime you shoot or you move it, it slides back, slides off. Um, so I wasn't sure if I was, I was like, should I... Should I, you know, uh, should I try to redesign it? Should I, you know, uh, maybe just like cut out this little bar here? Uh, and after thinking about it, I decided, no, I'm not going to mod the gun. Uh, I'm going to try to do my first remix, which is basically take a model you find off of Thingverse and update it or redo it yourself. So that's what I did. This is actually one of the earliest things that I've ever uh, tried to remix or model. So uh, I don't know why. Sometime during the process, I actually uh, turned off the... Uh, the timer otherwise I'd go back through it but basically what I did was I extended the scope out so that it was further out and instead of having just a little nub there I actually put this tab here uh, the tab actually fits in there a little bit better holds it in there uh, kind of like it's supposed to because it is more of a tab uh, but you can see I, I kept the basic the basic lineup and everything so um, it like I said this was one of the first things that I've designed in 3D. I was actually kind of proud of it. Uh, and uh, once I got it modeled up and, and mocked up, I uh, decided to print it out. One of the things I did not do though is on the original model, the back end here actually extends out a little past the rail. Um, I, I don't like overhangs on having to print stuff. It usually causes it to be to, to be stringy uh, on the bottom. So I decided to just make it flat. I mean, design wise, uh, it probably doesn't look as good as it could have if it you know had extended out the back some. But like I said, I, I did not want any overhang here on this part. Uh, so I just made it nice and flat. So when it comes off the build surface, it should be a good, clean, uh, solid surface. So here it is. Uh, this is the model that I created. Like I said, it's uh, flat on the back end here so that you get a nice, clean build surface whenever you build it in 3D. Bring it up like this. Um, compare it to the, the previous one. You can see it is taller. Um, and like I said, look how much, look how far up this nub had to have been. Like his model, the nub is right here and, and look where the nub is on mine. Like that is a massive difference. Um, so it slides on here and uh, you get this, make sure you can hear this. Hear that click? And it's not going anywhere. And let's see here, we've got a nice, 
nice aiming here. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, it, the nice thing is, is it will come back off. You just lift up a little bit and it comes right back off here. Hear that click again. Ah, oh, that's satisfying. So, uh, yeah, there's the uh, there's the scope that I built for this Nerf hammer shot. Uh, like I said, really, you know, I can't say all, all enough about this gun. This is actually a really cool gun. Really, uh, for the price, it's 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 pretty good. Uh, uh, my five year olds, both my five year olds, can you know shoot it really easily. So just pull the pull the hammer back. Um, this is probably not the last time you will see this gun in uh, one of my uh, build videos, one of my mod videos, uh, because uh, I've, I've actually, whenever I was going out to, to find a scope for this, I found uh, this is actually a pretty popular model of Nerf gun, and they've done some really cool stuff with it. Um, some of the things that I've seen, there people have actually changed out the the chamber here that holds the five shots, and have like upped it to seven or even eight shots, and that's something I'd be interested in doing. Just literally going in and, and replacing the, the the barrel here, and all, you know, all of a sudden you've got you know two more shots or three more shots would be extremely helpful, especially during a in a firefight with uh, two five year olds. So uh, yeah, awesome gun and. Um, I, you know, I'm happy with the, I'm happy with the way it, it came out. So, well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I know this was a short video, especially compared to the last one, uh, the the 25 minute extravaganza that was the NES uh, Mini. That being said, I'm actually in the process of building one that is uh, more true to the original colors. I'll throw a couple of quick shots up here, of that real quick. Uh, but yeah, so I'll I'll keep having updates on that as I go on. Uh, but you can expect to keep seeing videos, hopefully uh, every other week here. So uh, maybe I'll get it ramped up to every week. But who knows? There's uh, got a lot of stuff going on. That, that's just how it is, you know, being a dad and working a full time job and and uh, having hobbies. So uh, who knows? That maybe that should be an episode as well to talk about that. So. Um, but yeah, if you would, please, uh, definitely, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video, definitely helps us out. Uh, we've got other shows on as well. We've got shows about video gaming. We've got the Epically Geeky Show that records live on Saturday nights. So if you're not doing anything, check in. It's really fun. Get into the uh, to the chat room and, uh, you know, just, just share your thoughts. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, this is Eugene Stevens for Epically Geeky Makers. See you next time. <laughs>